Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are starting a new series, namely Miscellaneous Videos on ComSol Multiphysics. This series will include everything starting from geometry, mesh, inputs, outputs, simulation related issues and all. So I will be talking about very important topics in this particular series and if you go through this series that would help you in developing your problems in ComSol. So today's topic of discussion is if else, how we actually use if else in inputs and outputs as boundary conditions or somewhere else may I might be as initial conditions. So what is the logical expression mean in ComSol that is a point of discussion. So for that I have already created a simple model taking laminar flow physics yeah, you can say, you can see here, we have taken a laminar flow physics in this geometry. So this is a vertical channel you can consider. This is a vertical channel and uh, the channel has an inlet say here and an outlet at the top. So uh, just to let you understand, so this is the channel and this is the inlet at the bottom. Uh, outlet at the top in inlet we are mentioning a particular constant pressure P0 which is defined in the parameter you can say P0 is 200 Pascal at the inlet and at the outlet we have static zero pressure that means absolutely atmospheric pressure and then uh, what we are doing we are inputting some we are, we are importing some initial values of pressure say P by Y. The concept is suppose there was an initial pressure and that is decreasing as we move from bottom to top. So that is why it's a linear I mean hyperbolic function inversely proportional to Y that is the vertical distance. So uh, there is a discrepancy here that we will come to know once I run the video. So run the simulation. So simple thing is a laminar flow input outputs and initial conditions are given. Uh, water is taken as a material in the geometry. Now we go to time dependent solution and we uh, click on compute. See we are getting an error message. It is showing that division by zero. So where is the problem where it is actually getting a division by zero if you go to the initial values you can see we are taking a function p by y but the y spans from 0 to 10 centimeters so when it is looking for value of p this pressure at y equal to 0 so it is getting some constant p by 0 where p is given here so p is this pascal into meter so if we divide by meter that will give you Pascal so that is for the dimensional consistency but here the value at zero is becoming infinite and that is why it is not being able to tackle that problem and it is giving you as an error now there might be real situation where the pressure or something is varying like this function so in that case how to tackle with this and how to solve your simulation. So one thing is to get rid of this problem to use if and else. So what I can do is I'll just explain to you what I have done. Uh, before uh, I tell you what I have done, uh, I just tell you what is if else. So it is simple if else which you use in programming. So if a condition is maintained, you take some value if that condition is not maintained then you take the other value so here these two values are p0 and p by y where p0 we have already listed and p also we have listed so there are two options between p uh, yeah there are two options between p0 and p y and one condition it is checking so what i am telling is if y is less than 2 here less than 2 means uh, yeah in centimeter so if y is less than 2 you take p0 why because what i want to ensure is up to 2 there is a possibility of getting higher numbers because 
it is divided by lower value of y and at 0 it is actually divided by 0 so i want to ensure at this section it should not get the function p by y rather it should get some realistic value so that it can simulate but once it goes beyond 2 then it will take this p by y value and that actually help us getting this problem done or getting this simulation through because it is not in it is not getting the value infinite anymore so let us run the simulation once again i click on compute yeah you can see it is yeah it is starting the simulation the simulation has started the converges is also moving smoothly and yeah we are actually getting a kind of parabolic velocity profile like this so i mean while you are doing your simulation you might come across this uh, i mean functions where you have a point of discontinuity and for tackling those functions this if else statement is very useful and you can also use this logical statement uh, wherever you need i mean uh, you, you need to get rid of this discontinuity or something so this will be very much helpful otherwise your function might also have some conditionality if this condition is maintained then you use this value if this is not maintained use another value so in all those cases this fl statement is very useful so for today i am stopping here and i request you to subscribe to my channel for more updates on comsol multiphysics we are also starting a section in engineering mathematics research related topics concept so these videos will be very much helpful to you thank you